Now let us consider one example of finding equivalent stiffness. Here we have two springs and their stiffnesses are K1 and K2 and their lengths are L1 and L2 and there is a block of mass M between the two springs and if we displace this block of mass M by distance x in this direction then this will be the configuration of our springs and here if I consider free body diagram of block of mass M then if the force between the first spring and the block of mass M is F1 and the force between the second spring and the block is F2 then here note that in vibratory motion there is a net force on the mass towards equilibrium position so the net force on the block of mass M will be F1 minus F2 and F1 minus F2 will not be 0 so from this we can conclude that F1 will not be equals to F2 now here note that for both the springs the displacement is x even though in the first spring the displacement is extension of the spring and in the second spring it is compression of the spring but their magnitude is x in both the springs so we have same displacements and different forces in the springs so this implies that the springs are in parallel so their equivalent stiffness will be given by k1 plus k2 here note carefully that even though the springs appear to be in series but because of the configuration of the mass the springs actually turn out to be in parallel and the equivalent stiffness for this system will be k1 plus k2 